My name is Stephen Orban, and I run the technology department for Dow Jones, which is one of the seven companies under the News Corp portfolio. With brands like the Wall Street Journal, The Sun, The Times of London, The Australian, Amplify, and others, our world-class journalism reaches several hundred million people each and every day. Now, while News Corp gives all of its companies a great deal of autonomy to run its businesses, we've realized over the course of the past year or so that there has been an organic convergence in the technology strategy across our global businesses. We've realized that while we produce the world's best journalism and content, we don't yet have the world's best digital platform for distributing that content. One of the reasons that that's been difficult for us is the amount of time and effort that we have to spend in managing our infrastructure. We have 40 data centers across four continents all across the world. Now, for a company, for an infrastructure services company like Amazon, that may not seem like a big number, that may be modest. However, for a company who is more concerned with getting its journalism out, the time, money, and people that we need to spend operating these facilities takes away and distracts us from our core mission, which is to build great products for our customers. So our mission now, over the course of the next several years, is to migrate 75% of our infrastructure from our internal facilities to AWS, leaving us with only six physical data centers to manage globally. What started off as a conservative experiment in 2011 with News UK in London has seen broad and rapid adoption over the course of the past 12 months as we realized how easy this was. Significant portions of the Wall Street Journal, dozens of mobile applications and tablet apps that we have across our brands worldwide, uh, and many other applications, including in the back office, are now being hosted on AWS. One of the things that's made this possible and made this much easier for us is the fact that everything in the AWS ecosystem is API-based. This allows us to much more effectively integrate with our legacy applications and our legacy technologies without much concern for what it was developed in, what language we're using, what architecture it's on, because we can just call the web services. In addition to that, we're able to complement the AWS console and the multitude of third-party providers who are out there also servicing um, and building tools with our own tools. Uh, these tools allow us to help govern usage uh, and price much more effectively than we would have ever been able to do in our own environments. Another key feature for us, which has been mentioned several times already today, is the global nature uh, of the AWS services. It goes without saying that as a global company, we want our infrastructure and our compute to be much closer to our end users to reduce latency um, and provide a much better experience. But beyond that, it also provides a much, more, uh, a much better way for us to facilitate, facilitate collaboration across all the different companies. We've developed an entitlement system in London with the News UK, and very recently we've developed a content recommendation algorithm in New York at Dow Jones which we're able to share with our sister companies in minutes and hours using cloud formation, chef recipes, and AMIs, which would have otherwise taken weeks and months uh, of system administration efforts. So we still have a ways to go. Over the course of the next you know, couple of years, we're gonna be migrating 3,000 applications uh, to AWS. You know, we'll survey every single application, we'll look at it, we'll decide if it's a lift and shift, are we going to re-architect pieces of it for the cloud to take advantage of elasticity or other features, are we going to take advantage of the AWS marketplace and see if those things can complement our, our would-be uh, hardware solutions, and in all likelihood, in some cases, there will be an opportunity to do some combination of all three. And we feel that combined, this will contribute to a global savings of $100 million in our infrastructure costs, which we're very, very excited to be able to reinvest in product innovation for our customers. Thank you very much for your time.